Industry on Parade visits an orchard of newly planted nut trees at Rochester, New York, with the man who had this orchard planted, industrialist Charles Schlegel. Though Mr. Schlegel is in his 90s and the trees won't bear nuts for 15 years, he's confident he'll be around to take part in the first harvest. He's equally optimistic about the future of his business and here looks over construction of a new central plant to replace sizable factories currently in operation. The products turned out by the Schlegel Manufacturing Company, well, they are many and varied, for this is one company that has never stopped changing with the times. In large part, the output consists of specialized, narrow woven products of the loom. Weather stripping, weather seal, automobile wind lace, that sort of thing. The very first product Charles Schlegel turned out 70 years ago was hem bindings for women's skirts to keep them from wearing out as they dragged along the ground. Our cameraman reporter asked Mr. Schlegel if he had any of the old hem binding around to be photographed, and he said, no, we don't worry about what's past. We look ahead. And so he has always done. When fashion raised women's skirts, he turned to fringe for surrey tops, then to book straps for schoolboys. Now, among other things, it's the material used around automobile windows to eliminate rattling and prevent unwanted drafts. The founder checks on production with son Carl, the company president, an engineer who helped design many of the machines used in the firm's three plants. This machine, for example, forms a weather seal for combination windows, an aluminum and fabric insulator which permits windows to slide easily while keeping drafts out. Three generations of management who have kept Rochester citizens employed through good times and bad simply by keeping up with the times. This grand old man of industry has always followed the maxim that when you're through changing, you're through. <laughs> 